the swan huh by Cessance yeah that's the one I'm talking about it normally is played an octave above this particular version now I happened to find this by accident one day it had never occurred to me to transpose it down an octave and indeed it is possible why not I think it's a really good learning tool whether you agree with it or not is kind of immaterial, the, the fact that it actually works, yeah, maybe it's a little muddy when played with the actual harmonies, you know, the, the sonorities of the piano. But again, I think that's a little bit immaterial. Teaching this to students to learn the melody is quite a useful concept. I mean, after all, how many times has your teacher told you to find the note an octave or two below the note that you're desperately searching for up in thumb position, way up in 10th or 12th position? And then you dutifully do that. You go down to first position, second, third, whatever it is, and you find the note. Whether it's for a note, a pair of notes, or a whole phrase, and you work out what it sounds like and you transpose back up, well, so the original, so that you can play it in tune. But check this out. And you listen to the first uh, recording of this all the way through. Now you have a new perspective with me and the commentary. Just take a moment to think about how this could actually be useful in a whole host of other pieces. If you try it out, would you tell me and share it with others?